Welcome to WCBS880.com. I am Felix De Jesus, and you are watching Yankees Daily. This program is brought to you in part by Billy Sports Bar and Lounge, the place to be before and after the game. The New York Yankees are on a tremendous roll, sweeping two series since the All-Star game. They are 6-0 and to start the second half and are now in first place in the American League East by two games over Boston and have the best record in the American League. CeCe Sabathia will be on the mound for the Yankees tonight against the Oakland A's. In 16 starts versus Oakland, Sabathia is just 3-7 and with a 6.26 ERA. For the A's, New Jersey native Vin Mazzaro will start. He grew up a Yankee fan. Today we have an interview with David Cohn. Uh, David, old timers, uh, how does that make you feel? You still look like you can pitch. I know. It, I think it's good that um, some of the younger guys come back and, and establish the generation of the 90s because the Yankees are defined by their generation in the 70s Yankees and the 50s Yankees. And we go all the way back in, in this organization. So even though we're a little younger, I think the fans enjoy seeing us. And I'll tell you what. 10 years ago it was 1999 so uh, yeah I, I guess we are old timers uh, of course a perfect game with the New York Yankees David how do you see this team uh, shaping up 2009 especially since you were a pitcher and pitchers like Jabba Chamberlain there's a lot of debate should he be in the bullpen should he be a starter what's your point of view well I, I think Jabba has got a chance to do either but I, I like to I'd like to see him start a little more to see how far he can go and it's really his first full year as a starter I think you could always make the change and put him in the bullpen at any time but you need some time to figure out if you can be a starter in this game, and one year really isn't enough. Uh, I think he's talented enough to do both, but I think the Yankees need him as a starter right now. David, of course, you made the transition from baseball to being uh, now a commentator. Um, as some of the pitchers here in the Yankees, have they sought any advice from you? Very rarely. You know, I, I, it's not my place to, to go in there and try to offer advice. If somebody asks me, I'll, I'll certainly offer some advice. But if you're not in that clubhouse and part of that team, then... You know, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very careful about that because I don't want to be perceived as somebody coming in from the outside and, and trying to give advice when it's unsolicited. But knowing pitching as well as you do, and maybe just a step or something that they're doing wrong, would you just mention it in passing? Uh, maybe. You know, if if I, if I had a conversation with somebody like AJ Burnett or CC Sabathia, certainly I would offer, I would offer some sort of a, you know, you know, whatever advice I could. But I'm real careful about it because Dave Island's a great pitching coach. I don't want to step on any toes. David, in regards to your career, are you enjoying what you're doing now? I am. It's nice to be involved in the game in any way. So I missed it when I was gone. That's the thing about baseball. You miss it when it's gone. And uh, people, you know, it's nice to have somebody, you know, that, that wants you involved in the game. And I'm lucky to, to be able to have a job in the game. Do you think you left a little too early? Not really. I can't complain. I have no complaints about my career. I played long, and I was in, my timing was great. I was on world championship teams and great players, and you know, I feel very lucky to be around those kind of guys. Any pitcher nowadays that resembles you uh, when you used to play? Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's hard to say. I, I identify with so many guys. Um, you know, it's, I, don't really, I don't really like to compare myself to other guys because the game moves on, the game changes, but I really like watching this Yankee pitching staff. A.J. Burnett, C.C. Sabathia. I still pull for Andy Pettit. He's a teammate of mine. I'm biased. I love seeing what Phil Hughes is doing in the bullpen right now. You know, he's a tremendous talent. So I get excited with good pitching. Any pitcher which you see maybe in the minors or even in the big leagues that you, you're saying, watch out for this guy. He's going to be a star. Well, yeah, I think we were seeing it before our eyes with Phil Hughes. You know, I think, uh, you know, he, he kind of struggled as a starter last year and a little bit this year. But to, to see how he has really stepped up, I think. And plus, he's still young. He's still 23 years old. So... To see a young guy like that thrive and really start to figure things out, it's like the light bulb goes on in their head, and I love watching that happen for young pitchers. It was brought to you in part by Billy Sports Bar and Lounge, the place to be.